Ryan Lewis from the Prosper and Gordy Sixer. We're beating and banging here in the Sportsman Class. Still banging as we head down. Rempel going to work there. Oh, five wide for a moment through one and two. Back down to four and three wide off of two. What a showing. Yeah, I talked to Draper down here when you were having the late model, and he said, uh, yeah, I got a lot of work cut off for me, and yes, he does. 13 cars, 12 laps the distance. The top two move on to the Abe Lincoln Memorial A Main here on Friday night. You know, I'm going to have to rewrite this list after tonight, Anthony, <laughs> because, I mean, it's like a hodgepodge, and it's like... Man, you, you put 43 of these guys out here. Well, you add it to the list of the regulars you've had throughout the year. It's like, uh, yeah, there we go. That's what happens during the special events. But the young gun, Cade Richards, brings the field to turn number four outside of him, Justin Swoboda. Let's go racing! Motor Storm through one and two. We'll see the National Rookie of the Year points leader show the way. Cade Richards, he'll lead the stampede down the backstretch for the first time. Ari Scouten looking at the inside of Justin Swoboda. Another young blood in that 99 RE trying to punch his ticket in. Lap one goes to Richards. Good. Cade Richards with the lead followed by Justin Swoboda. And then it's Ari Scouten, David Johnson, and the 6-H of Jason Harms. Gary Jones Jr. looking to the inside of Matt Andrews. That's for position number six on the speedway. Andrews was quick to deny him halfway through turns three and four. But now Ari Scout and good run to the inside. The 99 RE sidesteps Swoboda. That's for the final transfer spot. Ari Scout. And now we got trouble in turn number two. Gary Jones Jr. and Bobby Draper going around. Caution's out. Caution on the speedway for the 68 and the 62. Gary Jones Jr. and Bobby Draper both go around. Cade Richards, Ari Scouten, Justin Swoboda, David Johnson, Jason Harms. Then you got Matt Andrews, Paul Donovan, Eric Hazy, Bobby Draper, Tommy Etherton, Cole Haddix, Amber Cook, and Gary Jones Jr. Back to green. Billy likes that when the green is out. Let's go racing. We still have a ways to go. Ten laps remaining. As the field scatters through one and two to get this one started, Paul Donovan slips up. That's going to allow Eric Hazy to take the spot away. Meanwhile, for the third spot, David Johnson and Justin Swoboda side by side for a moment. Give it to the 16J. Meanwhile, Scouten trying to size up Cade Richards for the race lead. Cade Richards hugging that bottom. Ari Scouten right in his tracks. Then it's Justin Swoboda in third. David Johnson. Matt Andrews and Jason Harms going at it back there for the fifth spot. But Andrews, the good run off the exit of turn number four, trying to run down Johnson. That'll be for the fourth spot. Here comes the Punisher to the outside of Swoboda. That's for the third spot. Cade Richards, Ari Scouten, the Punisher, David Johnson, side by side with Justin Swoboda. Matt Andrews, Jason Harms, Eric Hazy. It is a mad shuffle all around the speedway. Gary Jones Jr. After taking that spin and bringing out that caution, he's been working his way back through the field very nicely. But he still has a long way to go if he wants to make it into the Abe Lincoln Memorial A Main with six laps to go. He's got to be hustling. And right now, Cade Richards starting to pull away from scouting. Cade Richards came out, hot lapped that car. They might have figured something out on it. Ari Scouting running there in second. David Johnson on the outside looking in, trying to gain on him in third. Then you have Justin Swoboda, Matt Andrews, Jason Harms, Eric Hazy. Cade Richards, multiple wins this year up at the Raceway Park in Jefferson, South Dakota, doing a great job out there. Having some great runs out here at US 30 Speedway. Still looking for that first win. But if he were to win tonight, it would be a huge effort from this team because even after winning this B-Main, if he continues to do so, he will start deep in the pack. On a turn number four with three laps to go, it is Cade Richards. Ari Scouten hanging on the second. Outside looking in, David Johnson, Justin Swoboda, Matt Andrews, Jason Harms, Eric Hazy. Great battle there between Harms, Hazy, and Jones. How about Gary Jones Jr. from the back? 
Now able to get the two for one special. Goes up to the sixth spot. Two laps to go this time for Richards. Looks like clean racetrack will be ahead of him from here on out. Lap cars about a straightaway ahead of Cook, uh, of Richards. That would be Amber Cook. I think Richards, if he can play it just right, he won't have to deal with lap traffic. Coming around, getting the white flag. One to go. Cade Richards. All right, he's down there. If everything goes right, they have stamped themselves into the big dance with Gabe Johnson trying to spoil that in third. Down the back stretch for the final time in a turn number three. They're coming out of turn number four. The final corner. Going to the big dance, it will be Kane Richards and Ari County. David Johnson will have to settle for the third spot. Justin Swoboda at the line, hangs on for fourth, and it's Matt Andrews. Gary Jones Jr. comes from the back to finish sixth, and it's Jason Harms, Eric Kazi, Bobby Draper, Paul Donovan, Cole Haddix, and Amber Cook. So how about it, race fans? A pair of young bloods going on to the Abe Lincoln Memorial main event. Give it up for them. Your two transferring on the 99 RE of Ari Scouten and your winner from Lincoln, Nebraska, car number 1R, Cade Richard. 12 laps the distance, top two move on to the Abe Lincoln Memorial A main event. Last qualifying race of the night. This is it, and then we got the feature set, Anthony. Yep, and there are five big ones coming at you. And you're running all 21 late models in the feature. Because <laughs> why, why not, right? Why not? Why not? We can do that. Oh, definitely. Here we go. Caution lights go out across the speedway. Mary Lenz, a young lady out of Elmwood, Nebraska, shows the way. She's got the wily veteran Scott Stiskel to her outside. Last chance for one last dance on the first night of the Abe Lincoln Memorial. And how about the 38 of Jeremy Gannat? He's not wasting any time here. He ain't fooling around. Three wide as Lee Hork threads the needle between Walslaven and Lenz. That's for position number three. Horky still outside looking in. Side by side. Opening lap goes to Stiskel by about half a nerf bar. Jeremy Gannat in that second and final transfer spot, but now off of turn number two. Gannat. Pulls ahead of Stiskel as they go down the back straightaway. Lee Horky about to make it a triple threat match for the race lead. Off a of turn number four. They're still side by side. Two defined lines. Stiskel leads it. Gannat runs second. Good racing up front. Out of turn number two down the back stretch. Jeremy Gannat with a slide in management. Here comes Scott Stiskel fighting back on the outside. In that third spot looking in. That is Lee Horky. Mary Lands hanging around in that fourth spot. Wells Haven. Now battling with her and that's Trevor Noonan down there. Trevor the Noonan, yes. Man, we got a lot of good battles all throughout the pack. Keep your eyes on that race up front. Jeremy Gannett and Scott Stiskel. Those are for the last two spots in the main event tonight. It's Trevor Noonan working to the inside of Mary Lenz. That's for the fourth spot. They're still outside looking in. Walslaven with a good run off of turn number four. Able to stay ahead of Jake Kubik. So it is Scott Stesco, Jeremy Gannat, Lee Horky, got Mary Lenz, Trevor Noonan, Wellslaven, and he's battling. On the outside, it is Jake Kubik moving into that sixth spot. Kubik doing a good job. Did <laughs> you saw what Wallslaven did off a of turn number four that last time by? He returned the favor. Meanwhile, Jeremy Gannat, look at him hugging that low side like it's no tomorrow off a of turn number four. Stiskel has the spot at the line, but those guys are battling it out for the race win and a better starting spot in the feature. Jeremy Gannat, Scott Stiskel have been side by side this entire B feature. Lee Horky's been watching him back there in third. Says, one make, one little mistake, and I'll be right up there. But so far, they're staying away from each other. Wells they've been in that four spot, followed by Mary Lenz. Like we mentioned before, Jimmy, that is for a better starting spot in the feature. I believe the winner of this one will start on the outside of row number nine. The second place finisher will start outside row 10 in tonight's A feature. And it is on like Donkey Kong going off a of turn number two. It's still on, I should say. They've been at it all race long. Caution's out. Trouble in turn four for Jake Kubik. Jake Kubik was having a great run. He was running there in that top 10, running around fifth or sixth position and spun out again. You know, in his heat race, he caught the outside arm go over there in turn number four. Then ended his heat race. Now he was working his way up and uh, 
I believe, uh, Another bad luck there for the 93S of Jake Kubik. I believe, a, believe the track champion from the Stewart Raceway here in 2019. That is after this one goes final, so in four laps. Oh, we're going to draw the winner of the 50-50. That too. That too. I believe 413 bucks will be the winner's take. Off of four. Here we go. Back to it. Right back to the inside. Jeremy Gannett looks like Stesco's going to shut him off. Scott Stesco shuts off the inside on Jeremy Gannett. Lee Horky's right there with Trevor Noonan. We've got trouble in turn number one. Mary Lenz going around this time. So the yellow flag coming out once again. A longtime uh, stock division driver. Really you know showing what? his stuff on the ovals. Believe it or not, that's what Scotty Tuhati did before he got into a sportsman and a hobby stock. So here we go. Green's out. Look at this. Canal on the inside. Let's go on the outside. He shuts him off again in turn number one, Anthony. Keep your eyes on Logan Thompson. We'll see what he can do here in these final laps. Started 11th. Looks like they put Mary Lenz back in her starting position, so she is in fifth. That moves Thompson back to sixth. Well, look at that. Battle for a second. Lee Horky. Oh, man. Canat slipped, and Horky made him pay. Can Lee Horky in the closing lap steal the final spot in the main event? Oh, and Thompson climbed the wall down the backstretch. So some heavy suspension damage possibly to the 9T of Logan Thompson. Two to go. Keep your eyes on that battle for second. That's for the final spot in the main event. Thompson never lifted. He got his butt into it. Scott Stesco, Jeremy Gannett, Lee Horky. We're coming down to the white flag. One lap to go. The final two to go. The big dance. Two. Oh, it's Scott Stesco, Lee Horky. That's the final. Here we go. One more time around. Can Gannat make the run? Gannat gets a good run off a of two. He takes the second spot back. Horky back to the outside. Through three and four for the final time. Checker flag is going to fly. Stiskel's going to win it at the line for second. Horky. Gannat just on the outside looking in. Trevor Noonan, Mary Lynn. Then it's Mike Scheinhost, Jake Kubik. Jacob Kank, Logan Thompson, Mitch Koble, Alex Donovan, and Jacob Walslaven. While your two final ones going to the big dance, in the seven, Lee Horky, and the 714 from David City, that is Scott Stesco. These are the cars of the Midwest Classic Stock Car Association. Let them hear ya. Here they come out of turn number four. Start waving. Yo! Hoorah! Well, here we go, Anthony. Feature time for the first night in the 23rd annual Abe Lincoln Memorial. Starting it off with the Midwest Classic Stock Car Association. Uh, this race always puts out some of the best races we see all year long. The, the last big hurrah for our weekend warriors. It's always nice on those redraws. You go down there, you get to talk to the drivers. How's the track? How's your car doing? They're set to go. Well, man, sending someone in to... Uh draw for you wasn't the best maybe not the best idea here we go race fans 15 laps the distance our classic stock car a main event goes green here at the abe lincoln memorial Trent Proskichel, the wheel man bill rombach into turn number one Trent Proskichel, bill rombach look at the double lot that is Eric Ernie Cherney trying to make it three wide. Down the back straightaway, Rombach's going to have the advantage as they enter. Three wide in the middle of the pack. Everyone able to survive it off of turn number four. Rombach takes the opening lap. Bill Rombach, Eric Cherney, but look at here comes the line green one and a half. Pee Wee Williams. Man, Williams has got it dialed up on the outside lane. He did that in his heat race, and it's paying off for him once again, even with the track slipped up. A little bit of contact there in the back. Dennis Proskichill and Greg Moravac had to take evasive action from each other. Rombach continues to lead it. He takes lap number two. Meanwhile, Kyle Becker now entering the top four. Bill Rombach, Eric Cherney, Pee Wee Williams. Now moving in there, Kyle Becker, Trent Proskichill, Brandon Proskichill, Mike Gansko, Alan Rasmussen. Man, look at that. A five-car battle for position number four on the speedway. Becker, Proskichill. Proskichill against Cowan Rasmussen all right there. Meanwhile, Ryan Shack about to slide in there. How about this? A great race there from third on to about an eighth or ninth. But Bill Rombach's got a clear lead about a quarter of a straightaway over Eric Cherney. You got Robert P. Williams. Oh, it's Mark Larson snakes up the front.
front stretch of Speedway. We'll oh, get man. The outside wall. It's about as wide as you can get it here at US 30 Speedway. Now Brandon Proskichill trying to work the outside lane to get around Kyle Becker. Three wide with Mike Genskow. That's for the fourth spot. Great racing up front behind your leader, Bill Rombach, as Becker gets sidestepped by Genskow. Here comes Jack. Bill Rombach, now Pee Wee Williams moves into that second spot. Eric Turney, Brandon Proskichill. You got Mike Gasco battling inside of him, Ryan Check, Alan Rasmussen, Kyle Becker, and you got Trent Proskichill in the double X. What a mad scramble it is from third to about the ninth starting in the ninth position. Two by two by one by two as they enter turn one. Robert Williams able to hang on to that second spot. Meanwhile, Genskow leading the stampede right behind him. Here comes the Camaro of Ryan Check. Bill Rombach has a lead, but look at that lime green one and a half of Robert P. Wee Williams. Mike Gansko moved into third. Ryan Check trying to fourth on the inside of Proskichill. Here comes Brandon Proskichill and Alan Rasmussen. What a great race we're having here to kick off the Abe Lincoln Memorial. First feature of the weekend, and right now, Bill Rombach, the number seven. Rombach coming to us from Platte Center, Nebraska, the 74 Chevy Malibu doing a great job here tonight. But now we've got a good battle for second. Here comes Genskow. Genskow trying to bounce back from a DNF that he had a, at Eagle Raceway on Sunday night. Looking to turn that around. He's doing a good job of that on the inside. Bill Rombach, Mike Gansko, Pee Wee Williams, Ryan Check, Brandon Proskichel, and Alan Rasmussen. Field now starting to fan out across the US 30 Speedway, but that battle for second continues to be hot and heavy. Five cars under a blanket as Alan Rasmussen joins the fray. Genskow, Williams, Check, Proskichill, and Rasmussen are all right there for position number two, but it's the 65 Ford Falcon of Mike Genskow showing the way in position number two. Rombach starting to get loose in the corners. Catching up down now, here comes the 2M of Mike Gansko, Pee Wee Williams, Ryan Chet, Brandon Proskichel, Alan Rasmussen. Man, Williams sparked it off the wall again, that 54 Pontiac doing an excellent job. And meanwhile, Brandon Proskichel able to go to the inside of Williams, but Ryan Check was able to sneak underneath both of them for the third spot. Check now to the inside of Genskow. That's for position number two on the racetrack. We got the deuces going at it. Three to go, and now that battle's closing in on Rombach. Rombach got loose in the corner. Here comes Gansko. Here comes Check. Here comes Broskachill. We're going to have a good one before it's all said and done. Two laps to go. Rombach leads it, but the twos are coming. Here comes Broskachill as well. Three wide for the second spot. Right behind the leader is Robert Williams. Ryan Check, two for one sale on a turn two. Oh, oh. I got loose. Good save, but it's going to cost him three spots. Ryan Check now to the lead as the white flag comes out. Ryan Check, Mike Gasco gives him a bump to the rump. Here we go, it's on. Like Donkey Kong for the lead. The Abe Lincoln Memorial in the Midwest Classic Stock Car Association is on. Here we go, final two corners. Billy Lloyd double checkers are gonna fly. Now a turn number four, flying. Ryan Check will win the Abe Lincoln Memorial for the Classic Stock Cars. Mike Gasco, Brandon Proskichel, Adam Rasmussen, Bill Rombach. That's your top five, and it will be Kyle Becker, Jeremy Snyder, Trent Proskichil, Greg Moravec, Eric Cherney, J.D. Becker, and Dennis Proskichil to round out the field. But give it up to your winner. Driving the Mr. Two, flying Ryan Check. He is our first winner of the Abe Lincoln Memorial. We'll have a word with the driver of the Mr. Two. Ryan Check. We got a great piece of hardware there for you. Job well done. By far, that had to be the wildest finish to any classic stock car in a long, long time. That's for sure. You know, good group of guys. Love running with these guys. And, you know, it, tonight it worked. And everyone stayed away from each other. That's awesome. That's the thing about uh, some of these uh, vintage and classic racing groups. You know, there's a lot of guys who probably say you don't take it. You guys uh, don't go too fast. You take it easy. You guys were slugging it out just like the, the IMCA guys out here. Yeah, when green flag drops, you know, it's it's on. You, there's no holding back in our group. It's go time. Well, they brought a great field of cars out here. Lucky 13 of them here in the house tonight. Well, what does it mean to have a field like that to come out here for the Abe Lincoln? 
That's awesome. You know, we've been struggling with car count this year, and for everyone that made it tonight, that was awesome. Well, let's thank some of the folks that helped you get the Mr. Two out here. I know it's a uh, uh, Skyler's not too far from here, but nonetheless, let's thank to help you get the Mr. Two down here to US 30 Speedway. Well, most importantly, you know, my stepdad and my dad, you know, big supporters and Geo Rapid Lube and Top Stitch Upholstery here in Columbus, and they keep me on the track. I tell you, we got a nice piece of hardware down there. I want you to take a look at that. Is that the, the neatest piece of uh, hardware that you've ever had to your collection? This one will be a good one to dust off. <laughs> How about a race fan? Your Midwest Classic Stock RA feature winner from Schuyler, Nebraska, Carnival Mr. 2, Ryan Chad. <laughs>